it's tattered. The old carpet's still in, and the cash register's still there, but everything else is gone. Looks very empty. Very, uh, very sad, for sure. My name is Don Fisher. I worked at Sears from November 1987 until May of this year, 2018. I shopped at Sears often, along with my parents when I was younger. I was very fond of the store, so I went into a store near my house and applied for a position there. So when I first started with the with the company, whoa, well, I was just a young kid. I was about 18, and I sold appliances for a majority of my career as a commissioned salesperson. What really made Sears really, really great was that knowledgeable sales associate at the appliance department. As a customer, when you walk in, they're going to be friendly, you know, they're going to be knowledgeable, and they're going to be attentive. That's what really carried and drove our company. The person I'm married to now, I met originally my first year working at Sears back in 1987. So 30 years ago, I met my future wife. And then our best man at the back there, Jim, I knew him from when we worked at Sears too. When I transitioned from a sales associate to management, um, I was able to see into the P&L, profit and loss, and how much we pay in expenses and you know the bottom line. And as I got more and more experience with the P&L, I really learned that it didn't look so great. What's happening now with the, the recent, you know, filing of bankruptcy for the company, and it's still sad to me. I mean, I still, I still know people that are going through what I went through. This, there was a, just a steady decline of footsteps, the amount of transactions that we were doing, and and the amount of money we we're making was was getting less and less and less. I just feel like a captain of a sinking ship where I'm trying to bail out water with a cup. When we have to close down the store, it's not just eliminating that money loss, it was also affecting a lot of lives. I had to be not only a manager, I also had to be a counselor. I had to talk to people that, that really didn't have, you know, that next thing to do, didn't have a plan, and they didn't know what they were going to do. That was tough because I, I, I had, you know, people upset and cry and made me cry, you know. And I told myself that it was necessary, but I still get emotional. It still bothered me. And, and it's just very tough when you know you're not making a difference. Sears was all I know for all my whole adult life. And I didn't quit on, on a whim. I mean, it, it took months to. It just got to a certain point that I just couldn't do it anymore. It just felt like it was, it was really tough. I felt like I was failing. <laughs> all, all the years that I, um, all the years that I, you know, performed well and and kept moving up in the company, it felt like it, I failed at the end. 